And now our 18 News reporter Nick Dabina is live at the Steuben County Courthouse again where we're continuing to follow the trial for the alleged DWI crash that took place back in 2019. Nick, um, it's another day of the trial that you've spent in the courtroom listening to the testimony, so what can you tell us? Jackie, the defense tried raising more doubts today about whether or not Mr. Drake was actually the person behind the wheel on that night in October of 2019. Now, a forensic examiner from the New York State Police that is a specialist in toxicology reports took the stand today after driving here from Albany. Now, she testified that Mr. Drake's alcohol level was 0.21, which is nearly three times the legal limit. In cross-examination, defense attorney Ray Schlatter noted that the other four occupants of the vehicle also had high blood alcohol levels. Mr. Schlatter stated that the other levels were 0 0.23, 0 0.21, 0 0.16, and 0.11. So the toxicology expert testified, and I quote, no individual with those numbers would be able to safely operate a vehicle. The jury also heard from an evidence technician who was one of the first to work the scene. The technician testified that he did not decide to dust any physical evidence for fingerprints. However, he did state that he took swabs, DNA swabs, from the driver's side door handle on the inside and the outside on the driver's side airbag and on the driver's side steering wheel. The technician then stated that the responsibility to submit those swaps for testing falls on the lead investigator in the case. Now, one final note, Jackie. After coming back from lunch recess, the judge announced that he had just kicked out a third person from the courtroom for making comments from the gallery, which is the area where people are seated to watch the proceedings. The judge said that he will not tolerate any more comments from anyone in the gallery, and he gave a final warning as testimony wraps up here on this fourth day of testimony at the Steuben County Courthouse. Jackie? Nick, um, thank you for um, giving us all that information. Do you have any sort of indication as to when the testimony may wrap up and the jury can begin deliberating? Jackie, I tried to get comment from both counsels, but bo both the defense attorney and the prosecutor declined to comment. So really, it's impossible to say at this point how long this will take so we're just gonna have to wait and see how the evidence is laid out and how the days unfold from here jackie all right nick well again thank you for your coverage on this trial and case and of course we'll continue to check back in with you as the trial moves forward